Hello. This video provides you with a general overview of the different types of transfers XCOM can handle. XCOM is a product able to run on various platforms whose purpose is to transfer data between these platforms. Let's look at the typical constellation. We have two machines running the same or different operating systems. That can be any of the operating systems XCOM supports. For example, ZOS, Windows, Unix, Linux or AS400. In this video we simply refer to the various operating systems as platform. We have XCOM running on both platforms and so we are able to perform transfers between these platforms. What can be transferred? First of all, we can transfer any kind of file from platform A to platform B. When this transfer is initiated on platform A, we are sending that file to the receiver. On the receiving side, that file is stored at the location we determine by setting the parameters for that transfer. Instead of sending a file, we can also receive one via XCOM. Again, the file which is received is stored at the location we have determined for that transfer. XCOM is not restricted to only transfer files which are meant to be stored remotely. It can also transfer what we generally call a job. Depending on the various platforms, this can either be a GCL or a script file or a batch file. After the actual transfer of the job's data to the remote platform, that GCL, script or batch will then be executed. Using this method you are able to initiate on the mainframe the execution of batches on a Windows system, for example. The fourth and last type of transfer is sending a report, which is to be printed on the remote platform after successful transfer. On ZOS you specify the desired type of transfer by using parameter file type in the sysin01 dataset. If file type is file, then the additional parameter type is required to specify if a send or receive is to be performed. The combination file type equals file and type equals send is the default. When you are using the ZOS online interface, you specify the type of transfer by entering the appropriate number in the option field. On Windows, you specify the type of transfer by using parameter transfer underscore type in the xcom.conf file for a specific transfer or in xcom.glb for all transfers. The different types are represented by these numbers. The most common, sending a file, is considered the default if that parameter is not specified. When using the Windows graphical user interface, you specify the type of transfer in the action menu when editing a transfer. This concludes the video on the different transfer types available in XCOM. Thank you for your attention.